What's up guys? Welcome back for another edition of Rosé's World. I'm your guy, Rosé. What we're going to be talking about today is how to style your beard. Ready to go kill this day? And you know what? Since I've figured out it's getting ready, might as well just talk about it really quick, right? A couple of things that I use. When I get ready and I'm getting all of the tangles out and everything, you see guys see how like, you know, it curls up, right? So in order to fix that problem, I get a beer bomb to start with. And you can get a beer bomb from your local, probably like your pharmacy store or like a hair product store, wherever you can go. A lot of places sell them. You can pick one, choose to see what works for you. I use one that's more for coarse hair because I have tighter coils. So I just use a little bit, right? It's kind of what it looks like. It's soft. It's like a, it's not like a gel. It's more like a, it's like a, like a paste. Um, rub it all up, get it nice and smooth. It turns into like a like an oily kind of um, substance, right? Rub it in your face, get it all in there. Beer balm is gonna be good for your hair because it just smooths out, turns into a liquid. Um, it doesn't dry up and flake or anything like that, and it has natural oils, things that are just gonna be good for your face because your face has a different type of hair texture right and then you're going to use boom a wooden comb now the reason why i use a wooden comb is because it's different from a plastic comb plastic combs have uh, ridges in the middle so because they're manufactured so they pull or they may pull at your hair and rip it out you know plastic doesn't really last as long they break they may fall out of place so whatever the case is they're just not really good with wooden combs um, they last a really long time they have even distribution when you comb out your hair even distribution of the oil that's there and it doesn't have those small little micro edges that's in the middle that's gonna pull out your hair and rip it out right so it's gonna go ahead and comb it real quick boom get all the knots out how you guys day been going? What's up guys? What are you been up to? Doing well? I hope so. Alright. That's cool. Boom. So now you see a difference. It's not really um, coiled up anymore. Got it all out. And this one's cool because it has two sides. So for people that have smaller, like um, like shorter hair, more fine can use this side but for me I like to use this side with a little bit of the larger teeth I like to use a uh, basically the, the finer I'm um, not the finer side the, the bigger side other than the, the finer side the finer side is gonna be like too small it still works and it goes through rather quick you know rather good so it doesn't hurt or anything like that so it's fine I like both whatever Anyway, on top of it, you can use a coconut oil. Coconut oil is good. It has natural SPF in it, so um, from heat damage, like it prevents heat damage. It also prevents like lice or anything like that. Normally people with coarse hair like mine don't really have to worry about lice because they do like finer hair where they can like move around. Whatever, yeah, I don't care about that. Anyway, I can use coconut oil. It has a lot of natural vitamins in it. It's good for you and you know it just makes your hair shiny it makes it's like the finishing touch all right so i'm just gonna go ahead use a little bit of that right not too much i only recommend using coconut oil in the summertime reason being is because if you ever touch coconut oil you know that it, it when it cools down and like when it gets cold it hardens and you don't want that in your face in the winter time when it gets cool because you're going to be able to see that and you're going to feel it too so you don't want that right and then you can get a brush one moment sorry guys i wanted to show you the brush and i forgot it all right so you use a brush like uh like a board bristle brush where it's harder and you could just brush it across your face evenly distribute you know the rest of the oils and just make it look nice it takes out any kinks that you might have forgot and I didn't talk about this at the beginning, simply I forgot. Before you start all of this, you want to get a beard wash. A beard wash is good for your face because you have different hairs on your face than you do on top of your head. So if you touch both, you notice that there's a difference. 
your beard needs more care it needs like a like a softer wash um, you don't want to use like the a lot of these chemicals that's in soaps and things but you want to use a wash that's specifically designed for the hair on your face so it smooths it out makes it more manageable it makes it softer so it's going to be good and it doesn't strip your face of all of their natural oils that's in it you know when you after you get out of the wash your face may feel dry it took all of the oils out of it so when you get a beard wash you'll feel the difference so i recommend that go to the store pick one up check it out again this has been another episode of rose's world let me know what you guys think what do you guys do what products do you use comment down below remember to like and subscribe subscribe